Good afternoon, everybody in Facebook land. It is Fun Friday. Yes, we what? I've just put dust in my eyes. That didn't really work, did it? Okay, hat hasn't been used for a while. Today is Fun Friday. I thought I'd start reminiscing about some weddings I've done. Let me try and scan in. No, doesn't let me. Oh, yes, it did. Oh, yes. So, okay. No idea how to put this hat on, by the way. That's okay, that'll do. It'll fit some way. It's mucked up my hair, look. Oh, gotta be beautiful. Anyway, it is Fun Friday. We're here to celebrate that the weekend has come. Some of us actually forget which day it is, but that's okay, that's me. Hang on a minute, my crazy phone's just dropped down a bit. Now, look, you can see me. It is Fun Friday, and I want to go through some things where in a wedding I did last year, so a, a wedding planning that I'd organized and I helped and stuff like that, we created, they wanted, the, they were so worried about their wedding being boring. Ugh. And not being memorable. We all want to have that wedding, that wedding that everybody will remember. I have got a story, but it's about a dinosaur, but we'll get to the dinosaur story later. Anyway, for now, I was part of this wedding, but let me introduce yourself. For those that don't know me, I have, I am Beryl. I'm from Forever Yours Flowers. Today, I have a little bit of crazy in me, but that's the way I want to be today. I, it's fun Friday. I have pulled out a very dusty hat. I have stuck it on my head. I want to be something different. It's very annoying, actually. And um, we're having, we're going to have a great time today. What are you going to do for the weekend? I would love you to tell me. Drop it, drop it in the chat. We can have, we can all have a giggle together. So um, the restrictions are getting a little bit lower at the moment. So we're allowed to go to restaurants. Not all, not huge, a huge number of people can be in the room at the same time, but we can go there. But we're talking about weddings. We're talking about your wedding planning and how to put some fun and spunk into your wedding. Um, normally I talk about the COVID-19 elephant in the room, which is, he's over there. It's Friday. We don't need to think about him. We've got the weekend ahead of us. Come on. So I thought I'd tell you a few stories about some weddings that I've done. And as we as I go through to it, it was, it was just, they were just different. One of them, they decided to skip all the speeches. They, they just decided that they would have somebody talk. But it was almost like they'd hired a comedian as the MC so that everything was a lot more upbeat. That's what you can do at a wedding. You could hire somebody that is a MC, they're a comic, they're a writer. They don't have to tell funny jokes. Whoops, I've got a dog behind me, I apologize. They just have to um, keep the mood of the wedding going and keep it happy. The other thing that was really good at this same wedding Instead of, excuse me, ghost, move, darling. Instead of coming into the wedding, which I'm going to have to drop my camera a little bit. Instead of coming into the wedding like, here we come together, all boring, I'm married. They came in, they came in dancing, and they were hooping and hollering, and they were yelling and screaming, and there were balloons going off. They weren't supposed to break, by the way, but it kind of, fitted in, they kind of went bang, and it kind of fitted into the theme of their celebration as they went into the room. They didn't want their entrance to be flowers, they wanted it to be balloons. There were a few flowers mixed in because, um, for those that don't know me, I do, I am a wedding planner, I run wedding planning courses, but I also do, as a textile art, I do artificial flower designs. So I make these unique designs. In this case, I should slow down, shouldn't I? I get excited when I, I rem reminisce. And in this case, it was about um, the entrance. Everything they wanted about this, this particular wedding was about the entrance, how they arrived at the place and how they were going to be greeted after the wedding by the people in the reception and stuff like that. So to them, 
that was what re was really, really important, was to create that party atmosphere before they came in. Don't get me wrong, they had a very traditional wedding. They had the long white dress with the train and the, the veil going down, like I was saying last night, call back into last night's um, Facebook if you didn't hear me, about um, Princess Di, we don't want that sort of train. But they just had some fun and enjoyment and instantaneously everybody's mood was much, much different because the music was vibrant. Everything was like a party atmosphere and the fact that the balloons went bang, bang, bang as they went along, that was absolutely perfect. But sometimes you can't plan things or if you want that to happen, maybe you've got a nine-year-old or an eight-year-old. They would love to have a pin and as you're walking in go bing 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 actually give them a knitting needle pins are a bit dangerous so anyway got to think of um, health and safety for our children but anyway i just thought that was such a unique way to come in and they had no speeches they had a formal mc that just kept everybody entertained and he, was, he would say different things and say different com Okay, the bride and the groom and the family had organized what he was going to say, but he spunked it up. He made it his, he took it into his heart, which is what I do with my wedding planning. It's what I do when I do my private wedding planning courses as well. He took it into the wedding with the, um, all this fun and spunk and really jazzed up all the images. It was amazing. It was so much fun to have this type of celebration to start the day. So, um, also the other thing that they had was they had a traditional wedding cake that was basically there for the photos. I think they cut it up. I don't remember that because I'm, I'm allergic to wheat, so I don't eat it. Sorry, this hat is driving me crazy, guys. Okay, got to leave my funky hat on. Sorry, I'll push it back a bit. It's got a lot of dust. Maybe I might put the glasses on. Look, can you see me now? Anyway, so, but what they did was they had a candy bar. That is another thing. So first off, they had this entrance and you could easily create, if you're a DIY person, um, these are the things we go through in my wedding planning course. We could create this arch of flowers or arch of blooms, whatever, or you could create it because you could go to Spotlight. For my American friends, I don't know if you've got Spotlight in America, but we have Spotlight over here. But you could make an arch of balloons and it could be a party atmosphere. And if they, if they, if you had helium balloons as well, they're all floating in the air. I did a um, 50th birthday party for my husband and I filled my lounge room up so that as people came in, I had the whole land room roof full of helium balloons and they were all handed a glass of champagne as they walked in. They thought that was so much fun and so much excitement. Yes, I plan birthday parties as well. Don't often do, normally I specialize in the wedding industry, but I do do the occasional birthday parties. So, but what else did I put on here? Oh, the other, the other thing, this was another wedding. I gotta keep talking about different weddings. I'm so sorry. I do a few. Um, instead of the band all being set up, the brass part, I think it had a brass part. I'm not sure. Anyway, think of the guitarist. I can't think of what they had, so I do apologize. But they all came in playing their instruments as they're walking along and they're playing. So the wedding, the bride and groom actually walked in quite formally. They quite have walked in. Hi everybody, yeah, we're married. Yeah, isn't this good? Yeah, we've had, oh, it was a great ceremony. Yep, they went and sat down and then they all had entree and as the entree and everybody, you could see that everybody's being quite prim and proper in the room and very calm and then suddenly the band comes in. I think the people thought there wasn't gonna be a band. There was a bit set up on stage, but it's just a couple of microphones and stuff. Where are the band members? Why aren't we getting some music while we're eating? Okay, and in comes the, they're playing and they're dancing and they come in and they get on stage and suddenly, I think there was about six people in the band, so suddenly people came from other directions that couldn't carry their instruments, but they came in with this area, area of fun and excitement. 
See, this is what Fun Friday is about. Fun Friday is about finding something different for you to do for your wedding, something that is memorable. So we all now, just to get serious, we all, I know you get, you get nervous about it all turning into a flop. But if everybody does their job and just says, my job is to entertain and my job is to just have fun, then that's what you've got to do. So, sorry, that's my serious bit. I don't want to get too serious. So, um, oh, another wedding, what they did was they had funny photos in a slideshow. They thought it was amazing. They had photos when they were kids and photos, you know, the kid, the photos in the kids, but they'd also got an English person, which I'm not, a writer, to put weird captions on it. And they'd put photo, um, you know, emojis and all sorts of things over it so that as they were all eating dinner this slideshow was going on and of course people are sitting there trying to eat their dinner and something funny what did i miss what did i miss people stopped eating their dinner it's it was it was very well put together and it was very exciting because as dinner was going on the slideshow was actually making a statement of the couple's lives even down to how they met, which I don't remember how, but I, I can tell you how I met my husband and I would love that in a slideshow, but I was living in a little town called Creswick and we, in this little tiny town, we um, used to have a school of forestry. He was new, he came from, he was, he was in third year. Actually, I think I met him in second year because we didn't go out for a while. And how I met him was he jumped up and put his elbow through my eye and I ended up with a black eye from hell. It was, it was the color of my wee little Fun Friday hat. So I had this massive, massive black eye and it was so, but of course being the non-competitive, really calm, cool and collected person I am, I just paid him back and dunked the ball and said, <laughs> next day, my, my eye was a little bit, it was hard to explain to people how I came across this black, but that's how I, I would love, let's, let's start in the chat. How did you meet your partner? How did you meet that person, that special person that lights up your life? put it in the chat I'd love to know these are the stories that I like to repeat over and over again these are the stories I like to put into stories because they are so nice some people just met them at work and then some people might have met them bungee jumping or jump uh, climbing the Alpha Tower or climbing Mount Everest I doubt you're gonna meet your partner climbing Mount Everest um, but you can see what I mean isn't that such a romantic story that's enough about calming down fun, um, fun Friday can't calm it down too far so um, oh another thing I thought of okay I'm not okay I'm a Taekwondo person I can do Taekwondo I can't dance well I take that back can't is a bad word but cannot is a good word people have tried to teach me it and I go by I always say to my couples what you cannot do today you'll be able to do tomorrow so I do this quite often I say what you cannot do today you cannot you will be able to do tomorrow <laughs> I failed in dancing 40 years later I'm still trying I can do the Russian on my you know this well I can't anymore because I think the back's a bit too old but normal dancing I'm sorry I sort of I'm one of these people that sort of I'm the rocker you know rock maybe I might put a little bit of beat in it but but have you thought of creating your own special dance? It could be amazing. And say you did some sort of backflip or something. I'm not, by the way, as you can tell, I am not a dancer and I'm not a choreographer. If you could flip your partner over and their wedding dress kind of did a bit of a movement in the wind, you could have really fancy leggings of fancy colors underneath of them and um, little hearts or something something see how I'm trying to make your wedding have a bit more fun and spunk and yes my dog yet again he's back to drink his water during a Facebook live 
oh well that's life <laughs> but isn't isn't that appropriate for fun for, um fun friday fun friday that's say that f um five times and see if you trip over your tongue fun friday no we're not going to go there because i know i'll trip over my tongue so i'd love to know what you could do to put a bit of fun and spunk in your wedding if you're watching this on replay put hashtag replay but put it in the chat i'd love to know and if you would like to work with me i'm sorry this is what you get you get a little bit of me being upbeat crazy but don't get me wrong i'm serious when i need to be serious if something needs to be done when we're planning weddings it needs to be done when it needs to be done so it's not all about the fun and enjoyment sometimes it's it's about suddenly you've got to get serious um i can give you an example of this i was at a wedding sorry i have to look down because i i i don't know about anybody else but i always look down when i remember stories but i was at a wedding and everything was set up and everything was ready to go and i'm kind of a bit mathematical i like obsessive um compulsive obsessive is probably the word but when i have things that have to happen at certain times especially if it's a fun wedding and people are moving and celebrating and yelling and screaming i have things set in very significant order i had a mum that decided that the order was wrong i was so annoyed because of course i ran in there went to pick it up and go it's not there where is it what am i going to do there it is over what's it doing over there so i quickly rearranged them all back but you kind of you have to and that's when i had to be quite serious because um i can't remember what it was they wanted candles i think on their wedding cake or something because it was somebody's birthday so they were including candles so i'd specifically put them aside but the mum thought they were in the wrong spot so she thought she would put them somewhere else whereas i had them basically time coded this happens at seven this happens at eight this happens at nine this happens at ten which is kind of um how i remember especially as i get a bit tired during the night during the night i need to have things that remind my mind remind my memory of what i have to do next because it's all about having fun at a wedding and enjoying yourself and just going for it so anyway i would love to talk to you book me a 20 minute chat we could book we book in with me get dm me we could all get start organizing your wedding together couldn't we and you could tell me whether i got to bring my hat or not whoops bring my hat or not or whether i got to bring my serious nature i do have a serious side it's normally i normally have very detailed pieces of paper but anyway this is beryl from forever yours flowers graphic designer web designer well you don't need to know about that that's the other side of me i'm 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 a wedding planner and i'm an artist so you don't know you can have the most amazing wedding book some time in with me i'd love to talk to you anyway stay home stay safe and soon that silly elephant in the room called covid19 will go away and we will be celebrating lots and lots of weddings together anyway bye for now love to you all bye